Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 9th of 2023 is titled Pick Du Pleiades. So what do we see here? Well, let's zoom in and take a look at this. And we see the mountain in the foreground. And that's a mountain located in France. And as we look up above, we see a number of stars in the sky. Now, all the stars that we see in the sky are part of our own Milky Way galaxy. And in fact, almost everything that we see in the sky is within our galaxy. There are a few exceptions, but not one that we see here today. We can see a couple of galaxies that are visible with the naked eye, but not in this image. However, what we do note are a couple of things. And in fact, right up above the peak of the mountain, there is a cluster of stars. Now, this is a small open cluster of stars. Stars. An open cluster is a relatively young cluster of stars that all formed at the same time. And when we call it an open cluster, it means that those stars are not gravitationally bound together. And what that what that really means is that they are slowly spreading out into space and will eventually not be a cluster anymore. And in fact, our sun may have been part of an open cluster many billions of years ago when it had first formed. And since then, the cluster stars have dispersed out into space. Now, this is a famous cluster known as the Pleiades. And we see the image here taken just a couple of weeks ago. And that is the Pleiades star cluster, very prominently visible in the constellation of Taurus. So if you know where to look, it's a very easy one to be able to find in the sky. It's not a hard cluster to be able to find. It's very prominent, visible to the naked eye. And it's sometimes called the seven sisters for seven bright stars, except that we now find six bright stars there. And if thought that perhaps one of the stars has faded since ancient times over the last few thousands of years and may have faded enough that it's not as prominent as the remaining six. Now, that's not the only thing that we see here. We also see another object that is a part within our atmosphere, and that is that streak of light going through the Pleiades cluster. That is actually a tiny grain of dust that vaporized in Earth's atmosphere, and it's what we call a meteor, sometimes called a shooting star. And as those move through the Earth's atmosphere at very high speeds, they vaporize and leave behind that trail that we see. Now, can you plan a picture like this? Really? No, because we don't know when any given meteor would occur. They're tiny objects and cannot be tracked. So we can know when a meteor shower is going to occur and when the likelihood is going to be that these meteors will appear. But we could never predict exactly that when one would happen to cross the face of the Pleiades. So usually things like this are caught quite by accident in photographing the Pleiades. And if you do it near a meteor shower, you just might happen to get a meteor coming through the image as we see here in our picture for, day, for today. So that was our picture of the day for December 9th of 2023. It was titled Pick Du Pleiades. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the plow over the mountain. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.